at last, we're back again to, to finish this thinking painting, this John Constable Valley Farm eating whatever, whatever it is. So uh, I've made a little bit of a start. Remember, we finished off putting most of the backing on. So now I'm going to try and finish it. I've just got a selection of little things here. Look, see, burnt umber, raw umber, um, a little bit of some blues and some white, some uh, yellowy sort of. Uh, what's that colour? Let me tell you what that is. Raw sienna. That's always nice in there. Um, and I also bought I had this one as well. This one's called. Um, this one's quite nice. This is called um, maple yellow. That's always quite nice. So I've got some burnt umber, raw umber, all those lovely browny ones. I've got a tiny little black, but because I want to try and see, I'm trying to make this quite dark. But um, once I do that dark, I'm going to light it up as I go off for the next stage. I'm going to try and finish this in two sessions. So what I'm going to do, I've just started to work on this now. It is quite a dark painting, so I'm just going to fill in with this brownie uh, using uh, um, yellow ochre and raw umber. Uh, uh, just to fill in these darker uh, areas on the on the painting, so we can then rework it to bring some lighter elements into it. <laughs> starting to look quite good. Now this roof, I mean, it's actually really quite dark up here. It's all this is dark, quite a dark sort of area because it's, it's probably in shadow by this sort of great big tree. So, and the end of that roof actually is pretty dark as well. So I'm going to have that. And the reason he's probably done that is because of um, Wanting again to have this contrast between the sky and this dark roof. And you can see as I as I, I make it darker, I'll make that darker still. It's got the shadow of this chimney. Like that. I'm not gonna do any more today because I want to come in with a white get this. Now here, there's quite a bit of shadow under here, like that, there's a window there, and this building here is made quite grubby and dirty, and the whole thing's grubby and dirty really, but then this would be render, or sheep shit, I don't know, uh, Watland door, wouldn't it? So that, that's been a mixture of all colours. Right, we're going, to, we're going to try and get this sky finished as best we can. It's looking all right to me, but um, with the, with um, with our friend John, there's a lot of brushwork in skies. He used to love his sky, and he was really good at skies. So I don't, I don't want to overwork it. I want to. I got. A, I think that's got a nice feel. So I've just mixed up a bit of white, tiny, tiny bit of um, uh, uh, French ultramarine with a, a, a bit of uh, uh, black. Just, just to have a little bit of grey tinge to it. And what we're going to do, we're going to start, so you can see the, most of the sunlight is over here. So this isn't white. I'll, I'm gonna, I'll only use white at the end if I have to, just to highlight where the sun is really picking the, the, the top of the cloud out. 
the sky of the horizon is, is quite bright as the sun picks it up. So as you can see that against that lovely roof. So let's do this. There's a bit more coming round down here. Now a bit of bright little uh, sky over there. It's a highlight and it's a bit round here. And he likes that. See that's classic in where you get a nice white greyish cloud. What I'm doing now, I'm just using this brush just to start turning, get this brush and keep turning it round and round and round and round. Then you can start working the cloud in. Do it quite quickly because you can't be poncing about. You've got things to do, don't you? Have a little bit of blueiness on that grey. You know, he likes doing this type of stuff. He's going to bring some of this darker cloud. Then what he's saying to you is, look, the sky is blue and grey and stormy brown. Even here, that's slightly paler than the bottom of the cloud. So you can move this paint around. That's looking quite nice. Right, so let's just blend these clouds in a bit here. So that's so they got some sort of three dimensional. You can use your finger. Get your finger. Was it round? Was it round? I don't know whether he did this, but I'm doing it. Just even out that thing, because you can always come back and add. I notice here he's got quite a bit of quite a bit of blue. I think that's just to sort of emphasise the Take it from there, stick it up there. If you put too much on like that, I've done there. Let's move that in there. That's this one here really is sort of half connected in the background to there. So that can come through like that. Now how's that looking now? Oh that's quite nice. This is a bit weird up here, isn't it? Let's just make that one cloud up there. You can always come back afterwards, but what you really want to do is not do it near where you're going to have to do the tree. It's a little darker just there. I'll do a little bit of darkness just there. Push that up and around and down, like that, get a little bit more storminess up there, that looks quite nice, I like that bit there, that's good. How's that? See that, see up there, and that top right, that's looking nice down, is it, can you see it? Of course you can see it. So here we go, we've got a nice, that's a nice bit of grey up there, so we know that this cloud here, is in front of that, and the base of it is right down here. Right, we're going to start on this this fire roof here by just putting a bit of I've mixed up. Um, I better tell you what I'm mixing. Look, I've just got this old red stuff here, cadmium red. I mix up cadmium red and um, cadmium yellow. Where is it? I put a little bit of um, burnt umber. I just want to do these nice little tiles, see? He's made them quite orangey just on the edge where they get a bit lighter. Like that. Then he's made them quite red here. And on the end of 
this little roof at the top. A bit more than that. That can be highlighted later. Although I've made this very dark, there is just a suggestion of some paler tiling going on up there. Other than the ridge tile, I might make that darker there. And as that goes up the roof, like that. That comes down really almost to this floor. Beams here, some of the windows, some of the shadow. This is the, the top of the chimney stack, which is a little bit patchy. A little bit, and of course, on the top of a chimney stack, it's called corbelling where it sticks out at the top. So we can just identify that. There's a lot of old black shit on that. That's it. A bit of hard timbering there. He's drawn some little panels coming down. I don't want to get too fussy about that bloody thing really, is it? Anyway, but what is important is just getting the, the shadow in. It's that tree that is supposed to, the, the house is it really in the background and I've just started to do a little bit of fiddling on this there's a bush this bush comes all the way across here so let me put that in I haven't really done that this is the bush then he comes put an ochre in that he comes across here and he's growing there And actually about here, you see, I've just noticed down below here, this, all this, steps out. So the house has stepped out about there. And I don't think it steps out the other side, but there's a damp course, and uh, that's quite dark in that corner, so let's get a bit of... I'll make that a little bit neater there. But here, these, these are the important things. As, see here, he's shown this last bit of damp course coming through there, or whatever it is, I don't know. And then he's returned it through there. 